uh, fantastic. Y'all, people have been telling me that they do not understand what I say in my intro. They've been calling me Jojo Sawa, which I take as a compliment. She's a queen. So every intro I say, hello tomatoes, how are you today? I'm fantastic. <laughs> I really don't remember how it came about, but it happened. Y'all, today is a new Food battles are my favorite videos to make by far. I love making them. And today's gonna be a really fun one, y'all. It is Wendy's versus Checkers or Rallies, wherever you're from. Here it's called Checkers. I am so excited because I just realized today that they have such similar items and it would just make the perfect food battle. So here we go. If you guys have not seen an episode of Food Battle, These are the rules, okay? So I get very similar items from both restaurants. Now each similar item goes into a round, right? Whichever one wins that round gets a point. The restaurant with the most points by the end of the video wins the food battle. There are eight rounds in today's video, and let me tell you guys what the rounds are. So, simple cheeseburger, a bacon burger, chicken sandwich, chicken nuggets, chili cheese fries, loaded fries, dessert, and a wild card round. So it's like a random item from each menu fighting against each other. So yes, I got one of each of those items from both restaurants and it's time to take a look at the food. Let's hope that all my orders are correct. <laughs> Y'all know sometimes I have issues with, with like uh, delivery services, but it's never a big deal. It's always fine. Unless it's like half the order missing, then I'm like, okay, I have to pause and go get more food. <laughs> so let's look at the food, but first, Hit that subscribe button to become a juicy tomato. And remember, y'all, I'm on Cameo. So if you want a selfie style video from me for yourself or a friend or a loved one, I'm here, girl. I make nice ones. I make like one minute ones. I don't do that whole crappy, hi, how are you? <laughs> and then it ends. <laughs> I've seen some people do that. It's not cute. So anyways, Cameo.com slash Timmy Tomato. The link is in the description. So let's take a look at the food, you guys. Oh my God. Okay, so let's start with Wendy's. So we have the dessert, which is a Frosty. Okay, here we have the chili cheese fries. Oh my god, let's take a look. <laughs> I have had these before. Okay, y'all, wait, pause. I've had almost all the food before, at least like all of Wendy's. But this is not about like first impressions, like tasting, you know what I mean? This is like a battle between this item and this item, just to see which is better. So, the chili cheese fries at Wendy's are so good. I cannot wait to eat them again. So here we have the Wendy's Baconator Fries. I'm gonna be comparing them to Checkers Loaded Fries because I read all the ingredients and they sound pretty similar. Look at all the bacon, that's a lot of bacon, you guys. I'm so ready for that. And then, ooh, we got the chicken nuggets. A lot of them fell out, but that's okay. Don't you guys love it when they accidentally give you like extra chicken nuggets? I hope that's the case today. <laughs> Y'all, once in my bagel bites, I got like an extra bagel bite. It wasn't nine bagel bites, it was ten. I was shook. Here's the chicken nuggets. Mm-mm-mm, so excited. Now here we have, I think, the spicy chicken sandwich. Delicioso. Now here we have the Baconator, I think. I think that's what the, yes, that's the Baconator. So that's the bacon burger. Oh my God. Oh, my mouth is watering. <laughs> here we have the simple cheeseburger. I think this is the Junior Cheeseburger Deluxe. So the um, deluxe one comes with like lettuce, tomato, onions, all that, like all those extra toppings. And then as my wild card item for Wendy's, I got the crispy chicken wrap. Ooh, got on me. So as you can see, there's chicken in there. It's very wrapped up today, like actual like burrito. Usually like one end is like opened, right? Okay, so Wendy's slay. The order is 100% perfect. I'm snatched. What a blessed diet it is in London town. <laughs> I'll try your rest. So now let's look at Checkers items. So we have the dessert here. This is called like a stack or something. And it's almost like a sundae. I think this one's like cookie Oreo or something like that. I'm gonna tell you all the details afterwards. This is gonna be compared to the Frosty. So that's exciting. Okay, so these are the chili cheese fries. Um, it looks good, but the chili just looks kind of like crummy. <laughs> and then here are the loaded fries. Whoa, what is that sauce on it? Does that look like ranch to you guys? I don't think I've ever tried these ones. That sauce is weird. It does not look like ranch. It's more see-through than ranch. This is the spicy chicken sandwich, real cute. Kind of small, but I think it was cheaper than the Wendy's one. I have to look at all the prices also afterwards. Now this burger feels bigger. Okay, so this is like the bacon one. I think it's called like backyard bacon barbecue on the farm or <laughs> roasting a pig on the farm. Something like that. I'm going to tell you guys all the names afterwards, but it has bacon and onion rings on it. It looks really good. I'm going to compare that to the 
Baconator. Now, here is the chili cheese dog. I love chili cheese dogs. I think that I tried this in my checkers tasting video, I think. But I don't remember any of this, honestly. I eat so much food, y'all. I don't remember how anything tastes. Now, I think this is just the simple checkers cheeseburger. It looks really good, actually. It looks very, like, almost kind of big. It's kind of heavy. Very nice. A lot of toppings. And then, last but not least, I think we have the chicken nuggets. But I think they're called, like, chicken bites or something like that. Whoa, that's a lot. So, it's like popcorn corn chicken kind of. I am actually shook because both restaurants today got both orders right, y'all. This is a miracle day. The Lord himself has decided to bless me. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna set up the food. I'm gonna get my thumbnail and then we are gonna start the food. Okay, y'all, it is time. This is gonna be a fun eight rounds. Let's get started. Classy as hoe, I'm a classy ass bitch. I eat caviar for lunch, dinner, and bread. So first, let's go simple. Let's do like the basic cheeseburgers from both restaurants. Let me see the exact names and prices, cause I'm gonna tell y'all all the all the tea on the prices. Okay, so the Checkers like basic cheeseburger is called a Checker Burger with cheese. And on Postmates, it's two dollars and sixty-seven cents. Usually, like the basic cheeseburger at these um, fast food places are a bit cheaper, but this burger does feel really heavy and it has a lot of toppings. So I'm not mad at it. Two sixty-nine is still very affordable. Now, Wendy's is the Junior Cheeseburger Deluxe. It is one dollar and sixty-nine cents. See, it is a bit cheaper, but it does feel a lot smaller and lighter than the Checkers one. To be honest, so I think they're both worth their prices completely. Let me make some room in here, by the way, y'all. One second. So let's see how they taste. So I'm gonna first try woo, the Wendy's one. Mm, I've always loved this Wendy's burger. It is so good. It's like that perfect simple cheeseburger. It has um, tomato, onions, pickles, lettuce, ketchup, mayonnaise, cheese, and a patty. So that's a lot of toppings, honestly, for $1.69. That's really good. There's something about the Wendy's pickles that I really love. Something about them doesn't taste that processed. Like, they taste like really fresh pickles. And I have to say, Wendy's always has amazing vegetables. Like, their lettuce and tomato always taste fresh. Always. I have never had a Wendy's burger that tasted, like, old. Their buns are a bit more squishy and cracked than other um, fast food places, but girl, my ass has a crack in it too, and it's fine. As long as it tastes good, I'm here for it, and this is delicious. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So good. Perfect, classic, simple cheeseburger, and cheap as well. So, now let's taste the checker one. So this one does feel bigger. Um, the bun does feel a little more tough, because, like, Wendy's has a very soft, plushy bun. It's like a squishy. Oh, satisfying. <laughs> so yes, this bun does feel a bit more tough. And y'all, by the way, don't don't call me out again and say all oh, my food is cold. This just got delivered. So I don't know what y'all expect from me, okay? It is warm enough, but the bun is kind of like hard. Let's see what's on it. So I see shredded lettuce, um, onion, tomato. Is there pickles? Um, I don't see pickles. Oh, yes, pickles, pickles. They're just hiding under the lettuce. There's pickles. Um, and on theirs, they have ketchup, mayonnaise, and mustard. I love mustard on a burger. A lot of people don't, but I love it. Um, and so I love that they added all three. That's like, that's generous. Like I always say, that's Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> okay, let's take a big bite. Tastes great, but the bread is not very good. In my opinion, the bread has a weird flavor. It's very bready. <laughs> that makes sense. It kind of almost tastes like a burnt cookie. But <laughs> Sally Bobby likes it, but part of me doesn't like it. It's hard to explain. Last time I had checkers, I don't remember this flavor in the bread. Or maybe I just noticed it because I just had the Wendy's bite. So maybe that's why I noticed it. The meat is good. You can't really taste it that much. It isn't very strong. It's a very thin patty also. Um, and the veggies taste like normal veggies. There's a lot of mayonnaise on it. Almost a little too much. Is it worth a dollar more than the Wendy's one? Personally, I don't think so. I think they should both be under $2. The winner of the cheeseburger round is Wendy's. So Wendy's has one point, Checkers has zero. Next round, y'all. Whenever I queef, it smells like Jean Dior. 
My vagina smells like a nice department store. Every time you look at me, you probably think she's so classy. She wipes her asshole with money. Please get Checkers actually has a lot of desserts. They have like um churro, no, not churro fries. I think it's called donut fries, um, which I did try, I think, but I don't remember how they taste. Anyways, they have a lot of desserts. They have like that, they have like an apple pie, they have something else, and they also have these like shake things. Wendy's, from what I could see on the Postmates menu, only has Frosty, so I had to get something that would kind of match the Frosty so I could, you know, make them compete for America's Next Top Model. <laughs> so anyways, they're both completely melted. I'm so sorry, but that's life. Ice cream melts when I'm trying to get my thumbnail. <laughs> Now, as Frosties melt, they get this like foam on top, like a root beer float, which is kind of odd. Okay, there's still some, there's still some ice cream texture in there. Oh yeah. Okay, good. So it's not completely melted. We're good. Yeah, it gets this weird foam on it. I'm not here for the foam. It kind of weirds me out, so I just kind of mixed it in. I don't know what that is. This is just called the Classic Chocolate Frosty. It's a medium, and it was $1.99. Not bad. And then the Checkers one is called... A stacker, which is such an odd name. I don't know why it's called stacker. I guess because they stack fudge and ice cream. I don't know. Um, it's called a stacker, and I got the Oreo fudge flavor. And the stacker is two dollars and sixty-seven cents, and it makes sense because it has a lot of toppings, so that's why it is like sixty more cents than the frosty. Both seem like they're gonna be worth their prices. Of course, we've all tried a frosty. So, oh my God, what's gonna taste like? I don't know. Mmm. Ah! Classic. Frosties to me just taste like chocolate soft serve, but like a little more liquidy. They're iconic, they're delicious. There's no going wrong with a frosty. It kind of satisfies your milkshake craving and your ice cream craving. It kind of mixes it into one, it makes it frosty. Y'all, I don't know if I've told you guys this, but when my sister was young, I think I told you guys this. I'm gonna say it again, I don't care. When my sister was young, she tried to order one and she was like, Can I have a slushy? And they're like, We don't have slushies. And then she was like, Can I have a slurpee? <laughs> And they're like, we don't have slurpees. Frosty's iconic. It's delicious. Now, I have had, I think, a stacker, but I think I had the strawberry cheesecake one or something like that. I have not had this Oreo fudge one. Let's taste it. It's very watery. Like, this isn't even, like, melted ice cream texture. This is, like, water texture. But there's a lot of floating Oreos, which I like. And there's a lot of fudge and caramel, I think. Oh, my God. Well, there's a lot of toppings in this, y'all. Oh, my God. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's like splashed all over my face, <laughs> but I'm fine with that. Oh! Honestly, I would take a bath in this. It tastes so good. I'm sorry, but in my opinion, this beats any McFlurry out there or any like McDonald's Sunday. This is like that, but 10 times better. So the ice cream, of course, is like a watery texture because it's melted, but the toppings, you guys, like the caramel is incredible. The chocolate is incredible. The Oreos, everything works so well. It's literally a dessert dream. So I think the winner of the dessert round is Chad. Chad. Yeah. Any legend be for me? Classy. I'm so classy. Gucci, Prada, Louis, and Fendi. Walmart. I don't know. So here we have checkers. Soggy box, <laughs> and then we have Wendy's. So first impressions: Checkers packaging needs work. If they're gonna put something so wet into paper, you gotta make the paper thicker or something like that because this is so soggy; it's literally falling apart. Look at this corner. Now Wendy's has amazing containers, but for real, their packaging needs help. Oh yes, and I did rip off the top, of course, for for that thumbnail girl. It's still super soggy on the bottom. That doesn't change anything. So before tasting them, let's look at the D. <laughs> So Checkers Chili Cheese Fries, um, it says on Postmates that they're $5.08. I hope that's not accurate because if it is, that's very expensive for fried. I hope that's just like Postmates, you know, getting the price wrong or something like that. Because $5 for this, no bitch. I'm sorry, but that is so overpriced. Now, once again, it could be different at actual Checkers restaurants, but this is just what Postmates is telling me, okay? So that's crazy. Um, now, Wendy's Chili Cheese Fries, they are $2.99. I think that is the perfect price for fast food chili cheese fries. They should not be more than $2.99. But once again, this is about flavor, not price. So let's see which one tastes better. Why do I need a spoon? I don't know. Let's first taste Checkers. So we have cheese on there. See, underneath we have chili. The chili just does not look nearly as appetizing as Wendy's because this chili is very, 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 like, very crumbly and meaty. Um, and this one has like actual chunks of meat, which I personally like more, but let's see how they taste. Oh, I hear it said the last time. It is so salty. 
And y'all, I'm a salty bitch. Like, <laughs> well, not salty bitch. You're a salty bitch. It's so salty that for me, I would not eat it. Like, even if I ordered it and I got it, it's too salty. And I love my salt. I know that's bad for you, but I do love salty food. But this is so overly salty that my tongue is like, <laughs> my tongue is quaking. My taste buds are like, bitch, what? What did you put on top of me? That is salty. In my opinion, the chili tastes exactly like the chili that you get at the gas station. You know, like the chili cheese nachos you can get. It tastes like that chili that squirts out of the hole. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Not here for it. The chili's so strong, I couldn't even taste the cheese. Now, of course, their actual fries are so delicious and so seasoned. I've had them before, but the chili is a no-no. I do not like that. And for $5, girl, no. <laughs> now let's try Wendy's. I'm getting messy, and I don't care. I don't care what you think of me. I'm an independent whore. <laughs> I'm a slut. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm a Christian woman. Oh, mm. oh my God. Mm. A lot of people out there think that Wendy's chili is disgusting, but I'm one of the people that's like, those people have a huge stick up their ass. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but you probably do. Because Wendy's chili is so good. I don't care if it's chunks of burger patty, I really don't. It's delicious. It's not too salty, it has real whole beans in it, chunks of meat, it's everything. Their chili is perfect. The cheese on top is so good. I'm pretty sure that they put two kinds of cheeses. I think they put um, some kind of like a nacho liquid cheese. And then I think they also put shredded cheese. That's what I'm feeling here and what I felt in the past. Amazing. Wendy's fries by themselves, I'm not a fan of. I think they're very plain, but they go so perfectly with toppings because they kind of like latch on to flavor, you know? So iconic. Like there is really no competition here. The winner of the chili cheese fries battle is Wendy's. Wendy. Wendy. <laughs> So Wendy's has two points, Checkers has one point. I'm so classy. I got my whole whack. I got my whole bleach. Now my whole shine's like a wrinkly diamond ring. I bathe in champagne. It tickles my nips. If you okay, so next up, let's do the chicken sandwiches. I'm really excited about this. So I love chicken sandwiches, but for me, the bread has to be really good to go with the chicken. It's hard to explain. Like, chicken needs a specific kind of bread. I feel like Chick-fil-A mastered that combination. Whatever their bread is, tastes amazing with their chicken. But some chicken doesn't go with some buns. It just doesn't feel right, and it tastes weird. Let's see the names and the prices. Okay, so Chuckers is called the Spicy Chicken Sandwich, and it was $3.30. 34 cents on Postmates. And on it, I see a pretty thick chicken patty. Not that wide, it's kind of small actually, but, but it is thick. And I see a lot of lettuce and mayonnaise. That's like your typical um, chicken sandwich toppings. Now, Wendy's is called the Spicy Chicken Sandwich and it's $4.69, so it's like about a dollar more. And the chicken patty is much larger. It's very wide. It looks almost like a filet, you know? And um, the toppings are lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise, I think. So this one has tomatoes as well. So let's try both. Let's first try checkers. Mmm, mm-hmm, mmm. -hmm. mm. Mm, mm, mm. A little salty. <laughs> Checkers love salt, y'all. Actually very salty. Not a lot of spice. It should be called a salty chicken sandwich. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's a kick of spice in the back of my throat. It does have a lot of flavor. I will give it that. It's very flavorful. A lot of chicken sandwiches end up being bland. This one is not bland. It is good, and the bun this time is a lot better than the other bun from that small burger. Now let's try the Wendy's one. It has a squished ass bun, y'all. Like, is that just me, or is that looking like a labia minora? <laughs> I don't even know what part that is, but... It's a labia minora. Okay, there's something about Wendy's bun that, in my opinion, does not go that well with chicken. Now, the chicken has a nice spice to it. I do like the, the flavor of the actual chicken, and I love the texture. Very real tasting chicken, very crunchy coating, but I don't think that everything goes together well, in my opinion. It's still good, I would still eat it, but I don't think it's all the way there. And the checkers one isn't all the way there either. But, which one would I want to eat more? I think, oof. I think the winner of the chicken sandwich battle is... Chickas! Chickas! It is smaller, but it is a little bit cheaper too, so it kind of matches. And even though it is salty, I do think it has more flavor and the bread goes really well with the chicken, almost like a mixed chicken. Checkers has two points, Wendy's has two points. Oh, yo, this is tight. You bathe in water, you're a basic ass bitch. Every time you look at me, you probably think she's so classy. She wants her asshole with my name, play skinny legend, be for me! Classy. Next, let's try the next pair of fries. So, they're both kind of like bacon fries. <coughs> <coughs> 
Checkers <laughs> fully loaded fries were $5.08 again on the Postmates app. That's just what Postmates is telling me. And on them, I see bacon, a lot of bacon, and I see a lot of this ranch stuff, but it's so see-through and weird looking that it's really grossing me out. I don't know why it's so see-through. Like, what kind of ranch is this see-through? Is it ranch? Wait, let me see exactly what is on this. Let me go to their site. Okay, so they're supposed to be topped with cheese, ranch, and crispy bacon. I don't see cheese. I don't know where it is. Is there cheese under? Okay, there is cheese, like way under. I see it. But how is that ranch? That's really gross to me. I'm sorry, like no offense to checkers, but your ranch needs help. <laughs> and then at Wendy's, these are the Baconator fries, and they're only $2.49, at least on Postmates. $2.49. So these are half the price. First of all, let's do a bacon test because I'm very particular about my fast food bacon. Some fast food places have like very real tasting crispy bacon and some have this like floppy crap. Wendy's first. That is real bacon. I've always been a big fan of Wendy's bacon. It's amazing. So now let's try Checkers bacon. That's a whole slice. At least they're generous. It's not bad bacon. It's just not great bacon. It's a little floppy. Um, not as crispy and flavorful as Wendy's bacon. Wendy's is like good bacon. So let's taste the actual fries now. Let's first try checkers. So I'm gonna try to get one that has cheese on it as well. So cheese, ranch, and bacon. Wait, one more. Surprisingly really good. <laughs> I expected like disgusting. So something about checkers actual fries really tastes like a funnel cake for some reason and I love it. I don't know if they batter them or something like that, but it really does give you that fair feel. They're almost kind of sweet fries, which I personally love their actual fries. Amazing. The ranch could be a bit better. You can kind of tell it's like not like that good ranch, but the bacon tastes good with it and the cheese tastes good with it. So I think those are pretty good fries. I like them a lot more than the chili cheese fries. Those were way too much. I am kind of impressed with that. I was not expecting it to taste that good. So now let's try Wendy's Baconator fries. Oh, this is so messy. I don't care. Hmm, for some reason, after trying the very flavorful checkers fries, these taste like they lack a little bit. And usually I love these, but compared, this kind of falls into the background, which is shocking for me, because I love bacon and fries, they're so good. As weird as it looks, I have to say, I think the winner of the bacon fries battle is... Checkers! <laughs> So Checkers has three points and Wendy's has two points, you guys. Oh my god. Target, who's that bitch? I'm so classy. Next up, let's do the chicken nugget battle, okay? So these are checkers, these are Wendy's. Checkers are not actual chicken nuggets, they're called something else, let me see right now. They are called chicken bites. Um, and I got the half pound amount. I didn't know there was like pounds of chicken. That's so interesting. And it was $5. Now, I do think that this is a lot of chicken, and I do think that it's worth $5, because y'all, that's like a lot. That's a lot. Now, Wendy's, I got the 10 piece chicken nuggets and they were only $3.69. So Wendy's is a bit cheaper, but I think that um, Checkers does come with more. It feels heavier. It, I mean, it's a half a pound, y'all. <laughs> I sound like Mickey Mouse for a second. <laughs> wow. The Disney jumped out. Now, I'm not trying these with ketchup. Y'all know what I always say. If it's a good chicken nugget or a good french fry, it does not need ketchup as much as I love ketchup. So let's try them both without. Let's first try Wendy's chicken nuggets. Wendy's chicken nuggets are iconic like they're simple but still flavorful crunchy nice white meat inside there's not a lot to say about them they're iconic now let's try checkers chicken bites i don't know if i've ever had these have i i'm honestly not sure so they're kind of small so i'm gonna take two and pop it in my mouth because i like big bites mm. oh my god reminds me of popeyes a little bit like popeyes chicken tenders Once again, there's a sweetness in them that does make me think of Popeye's chicken tenders. I think it's something to do with the batter and what they put in it. It also reminds me a lot of the fries, like the same type of flavor on the fries. I really love these, very crunchy. Now, they are a lot of batter and a little bit of chicken, which is okay, it's just kind of like, it's a choice. Some people like like a lot of batter on the chicken, some people don't. 
I'm like an in-between bitch, but they're very unique and kind of sweet. I, I'm, I'm kind of snatched. This is a hard one. They're both great. They're just very different. Now, which one would I rather eat right now? Ooh, I think the winner of the chicken nugget battle is I love these. They're very unique, kind of sweet, kind of salty, delicious. Like I would devour this whole thing. So good. Wendy's, of course, they're iconic, but this kind of outshined it for me a little bit. So Checkers has four points, Wendy's has two points, and we have two rounds left, y'all. So all we have left are the bacon burgers and then the wild card round. So let's do the bacon burgers right now. So Wendy's bacon burger is called the Baconator. And on Postmates, it was $6.89. That is almost $7 for a burger with no fries. This ain't Longhorn Steakhouse. <laughs> if it's gonna be almost $7, it better come with fries. I'm just saying. Yes, it does have a lot of meat. Let's see what's on it. I've, I've had this before, y'all. It's a mouthload of meat, but I'm just gonna, you know, compare them. Anyways, there's a whole lot of bacon, like a whole lot, and mayonnaise, and ketchup, and cheese, and a lot of meat. That's basically what it is. And even though there are tons of meat, I don't think that's worth $7 without fries. No, no, no. Now, Checkers is called the Bacon Roadhouse. So this is it. It has long, stringy pieces of bacon, a lot of onion rings on it, which is a nice touch. A lot of mayonnaise, um, two patties, cheese, like almost the same thing, but this one has onion rings on it. And this one is $6.69, so it's almost as much as the Wendy's one. What is it, like a 10 or 20 cent difference? I just think the bacon sandwiches are overpriced. I'm sorry, but they are in all fast food places. So let's first try Wendy's. That is so much meat, you guys. <sighs> mm, mm -mm, mm. It's not bad. Like some people really like all this meat, but Y'all know me, I don't like all that meat, and for some reason today it tasted extra bland. Like it just tastes like one big blob of like a cheap patty. So now let's try the onion ringy checkers one. And let me just say this does have more meat, it feels, than the checkers one. This feels a lot lighter. So if you do want that really meaty experience, this is more bang for your buck, I think. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> so is it really meaty? Yes. Um, but something about the onion rings being on it really add a freshness, <laughs> which sounds weird because it is like a fried food, but it adds a sweetness. It has the same sweetness as like all their other fried stuff. I love Checker's sweetness in their food. It's so good. Um, and it really brings something else to the burger. And for almost the same price, I think this one tastes better, but this one has more meat. So if you want like meat, 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 this one, if you want more flavor, I'll go with this one. For me personally, I'm all about flavor, y'all know this. So I think the winner of the bacon burger battle is... Checkers. Checkers has five points and Wendy's has two. Wendy's, I love you. I don't know what's going on today, but I, I do love Wendy's. Let me just tell y'all that. So we are at the final round. Mm. Mm. The wild card round. So here we have from Checkers, a chili cheese dog. And then here we have from Wendy's, a crispy chicken wrap. Very different items, almost opposite. Yet they are going head to head in a battle. So from Checkers, the chili cheese dog is only $2.67. I think that's a pretty fair, good price. It sounds reasonable, I think that's great. And then from Wendy's, the crispy chicken wrap. Oh, sorry, it's a, no, wait, where am I? It's a spicy chicken wrap. Spicy chicken wrap is $1.99. So I think that they're both priced accordingly. I think that they're both very fair, and I think they both look delicious. So let's take it, let's first try Wendy's chicken wrap. Y'all know I love this one. Oh my God. Mm. 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 They put like a real chunk of crispy chicken in there. So good, and then there's ranch. I see cheese and lettuce. It's iconic. It's a good $1.99 item. It's pretty heavy. Like this with like a large fries, I think would fill me up. Very simple flavors yet so well paired and so good. It's so underrated. It is delicious. It's iconic. So now let's try the Checkers Chili Cheese Dog. So I see onions, cheese, and chili. Mmm. 
Tastes different. Ow! Tastes different than last time. So the chili actually is not too salty this time because they did not put tons of chili, which is good. But something about the cheese is really sweet, but in a bad way. Like not in like the good, like sweet batter kind of way. No, really sweet processed cheese flavors. You know what I mean? And then the onions, I don't think go well with the sweet cheese. The hot dog's a basic ass bitch. <laughs> so y'all, I think the clear winner of the wild card round is Wendy's. Yeah. So that brings the scores to three points for Wendy's and five points for Checkers. So Checkers won this food battle by one round. If they lost one round, it would have been a tie, but Checkers really came through. Now Wendy's is also amazing. It's just very difficult to judge two amazing restaurants, you know, against each other. So someone has to lose and it just happens to be Wendy's. I love Wendy's though. It's iconic. That was so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments which restaurants you guys want me to put in a food battle. Also check out my cameo if you want to get a video shout out and go watch my last video y'all. I ate only food from the mail for a week. Legit. And I tried the whole Chuck E. Cheese menu. So go check out both those videos. I will see you guys next video. I love you so much. Ooh.